Montgomery County woman charged with murdering her 11 year old son is back in Pennsylvania this afternoon. Ruth DiRienzo Whitehead was extradited from New Jersey after making her initial court appearance this morning. Action News reporter Trish Hartman is live outside of the Montgomery County Correctional Facility in Eagleville with an update on the case. Trish. Well, Sarah, this afternoon, Ruth DiRienzo Whitehead was brought here to the Montgomery County Correctional Facility. Her court appearance earlier today in New Jersey lasted just a few minutes, and now that she is back in Pennsylvania, she will face murder charges. 50-year-old Ruth DiRienzo Whitehead was brought to the Montgomery County Correctional Facility in Eagleville this afternoon. From Chopper 6, you can see her being taken out of a police cruiser in handcuffs and led inside. This is the state of New Jersey versus Ruth Whitehead. In Cape May County Court this morning, she gave short, quiet answers to the judge's questions. Have you understood that, ma'am? Yes. Do you wish to waive your rights and be returned to Pennsylvania? Yes. Giving up her right to an extradition hearing, allowing detectives to bring her back to Montgomery County, PA, to face homicide charges, accused of strangling and killing her 11 year old son. On Tuesday, police were called to the family's Horsham home in the 500 block of Privet Road just after 7 a.m., after the boy's father found him dead. An autopsy would later confirm the boy, Matthew Whitehead, had been strangled. Investigators say DiRienzo Whitehead killed her son after he went to sleep around 9 30 p.m. Monday. Monday, strangling him with a belt. According to court papers, she told detectives the boy had been crying that day over the family's financial troubles and she didn't want him to grow up with those struggles. She then drove the family's SUV to Cape May. That vehicle was discovered on the beach early Tuesday and police found DiRienzo Whitehead in Wildwood Crest, where she was taken into custody and held on fugitive charges. Once she is returned, very likely the fugitive from justice charges will be dismissed. Now, we spoke with her attorney this afternoon. He says that she is suffering from mental illness, adding that his client is devastated. She will be arraigned here around 730 this evening, according to the district attorney's office. And because she is charged with first degree murder, she will be held without bail. Reporting live in Eagleville, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Gray. A tragic story. Trish, thanks for the update.